हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर अ वन वेरी गुड कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट स्पिन एंड वी आर जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पिन हाफ पार्टिकल बट यू कैन यूज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट टू एनी ऑपरेटर व्हिच इज जस्ट फॉलोइंग द एस यू टू और और एसओ थ्री प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द ग्रुप मेनली ऑर्बिटल एंगुलर मोमेंटम और टोटल एंगुलर मोमेंटम और स्पिन एंगुलर मोमेंटम so i will just discuss this is from the point of view of a spin and you can use it for the total angular momentum as well as orbital angular momentum so all you know that our spin operator s can be given as sx i cap sy j cap and sz k cap and you all have you know all this algebra i am not going into that basic thing but what i am just trying to see that this sx is nothing but this will be h cut by 2 sigma x this sy is nothing but h cut by 2 sigma y and this sz is nothing but h cut by 2 sigma z and sigma x sigma y sigma z is all about poly spin matrices so students if you will see this particular sigma x then this value is 0 1 1 0 and this value sigma y is equal to 0 minus i i 0 and sigma z is all about 1 0 0 minus 1 so these are the three operator that is for the spin half per, this is given for the spin half particle what i am trying to find i just want to know what will be the equivalent property that is identified as sigma dot n cap and what is this particular operator and how this operator is so much useful so what will be this particular sigma dot n cap if you have sigma you can write your sigma vector as sigma x i cap sigma y j cap and sigma z k cap and sigma dot n cap and you can take this n cap in a spherical polar coordinate so that value is equal to sin theta cos phi i cap plus sin theta sin phi sorry uh, sin theta sin phi j cap plus cos theta k cap so we have we can write this n cap and when you will go for this particular dot product between sigma dot n cap you have beautiful 2 cross 2 unitary operator and this is wonderful and what is this value you can easily calculate this is your cos theta and this value is equal to sin theta e to the power minus i phi and here you have sin theta e to the power i phi and here you have minus cos theta so this is a wonderful operator and this is you will find that this operator is a unitary operator so what will be the eigen value the eigen value is equal to lambda plus is equal to 1 and lambda minus is equal to minus 1 and you can find the eigen vector also and once you will find the eigen value and eigen vector for the operator basically this is your sigma dot n cap and this value is equal to you have cos theta sin theta e to the power minus i phi here you have sin theta e to the power i phi and here you have minus cos theta and the eigen value for this one is 1 and minus 1 and what will be the eigen vector is i can write n cap plus and this eigen vector you can easily find and that value is equal to cos theta by 2 e to the power minus i phi upon 2 and here you have sin theta by 2 e to the power i phi upon 2 this is correspond to uh, your 1 and you have n minus and this value is equal to you have basically minus sin theta by 2 e to the power i phi by 2 and you have cos theta by 2 e to the power i phi by 2 so these are your eigen vector and you have to use this eigen value and eigen vector to solve n number of problem why because this sigma dot n cap has very beautiful property this sigma dot n cap if you are going for the to the power n will be is equal to identity if n is equal to 0 2 4 and so on if these are even 
and obviously if these are even then this is identity and you have sigma dot n cap will be equal to your sigma dot n cap and this is for the n is equal to 1 3 5 and so on so these operator uh, so property of this operator is wonderful this is very interesting now how you can solve a lot of tough problem within a second using this particular concept but before that let me give you some basic uh, nature of this particular uh, operator if you have suppose operator something like e to the power i alpha n cap dot sigma this operator you can easily write something like you can easily write that will be i cos alpha plus i sigma dot n cap sin alpha so you in n number of problem you can use this particular uh, expression to solve this one but more than this we all know that eigenvalue of sigma dot n cap is the one and minus one so this is the eigenvalue eigenvalue is one and minus one so you can use this property to solve different type of problem for example you can take uh, this particular matrix this, this particular operator let us assume this operator is a something like you can take a sigma x plus b sigma y plus c sigma z suppose you have this particular c sigma z suppose you have this particular operator let's say this operator is a and two years before one question was asked into this particular in the csir they have asked this particular this type of question so what will be the eigenvalue so if some people will what they will do they will just write the value of sigma x sigma y sigma z then they will just solve the eigenvalue and then it will be very complex it will be very it will time taking and very complicated so what i can do i can write this whole expression as what i can do i can just divide with something like a square plus b square plus c square this a b c is you can assume they are the scalar the real number and the scalar number so why i have to multiply with what a square plus b square plus c square and then what i can do i can write this whole thing as n cap dot sigma and this is going to be multiplied this is a square plus b square plus c square and what will be this n cap dot sigma what is n cap here you can very surprisingly n cap you can write a i cap plus b g j cap plus c k cap and this is your nothing but a square plus b square plus c square. So this is your n cap and this sigma n cap dot sigma is nothing the eigenvalue is plus 1 and minus 1. This is just a scalar. So what will be eigenvalue of this operator is plus minus you can say root under a square plus b square plus c square. So this will be the eigenvalue. So what you can do? You can use this particular concept and you can write this particular thing. Now it's a wonderful thing now what is going to happen on to this particular information what we are taking from the analogy we can easily find what will be eigenvalue of n cap dot l we can easily find what will be eigenvalue of n cap dot s that is for a spin up particle we can easily find what will be eigenvalue of n cap dot j and for the given value of l m as for the given value of l you can easily find for example for l is for first one n cap dot l for l is equal to one i can easily say what will be my eigenvalue eigenvalue n cap dot l is equal to one h cut zero h cut and minus one h cut for n cap dot s for s is equal to half i can say the eigenvalue is equal to h cut by 2 and minus h cut by 2 and you can go for let's say j is equal to 3 by 2 we have in atomic physics in a g man effect you can have this type of information so j is equal to 3 by 2 you can have n cap dot j have eigenvalue minus 3 by 2 h cut minus 1 by 2 h cut half h cut and 3 by 2 h cut so you can easily use this particular sigma dot n cap 
analogically into every angular momentum algebra and every problem where this type of thing is going to be into exam in your exam for example so suppose someone will ask you what will be the eigen value of operator that is 3 lx plus 4 ly plus 5 lz then please try this question using this concept and you can easily get the answer thank you